Hello and welcome. My name is Professor Lisa and this is my friend Sonia and we're going to be showing you some STEM projects for your teens that you can be doing at your house. Sonia, what do we have today? Hi, so today we're going to make a popsicle crossbow. Oh. So uh, what you're going to need is four popsicle sticks. You're going to need one straw, a pair of scissors, some uh, Q-tips, some buttons, and uh, rubber bands. So just in case you don't have a glue gun, you can use tape. If you're using a glue gun, uh, parents, please make sure they're able to use it or you're there with them. All right, so this is how we're gonna start. You're gonna take two popsicle sticks, you're gonna glue or tape them together. So just place a little bit of glue there. You're going to match them up together and then just glue them together, okay? So it's okay if a little bit of glue comes out, that's fine. We're gonna do the same thing with the other popsicle sticks, okay? Now, if you want, before you uh, glue them together, you can color them like we did with this other one. It's up to you and you can decorate it any way you want. All right, so those are now glued together, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a cross. So it's gonna look just like that. And we're just gonna put a little bit of glue there. Okay, and there you go. All right, so we've made the cross and we have picked out our buttons from here. As long as they're the same size, it doesn't matter what color they are, whatever you like. Okay, so then we're going to glue them down. Again, be careful with the glue gun. Uh, and then we're going to cut a piece of uh, straw. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue there. And we're gonna glue that right in the center of the cross. Just like that, okay? After that's done, you're gonna get your rubber band. So uh, the width does matter. So uh, whatever you feel works for you once we start to, to experiment with it. You can pick the length if you have different lengths and you can work with that. You're going to wrap the rubber band across here, drag it over, make a next like that, drag it over to this side, okay? And then you're gonna put one end here. That's where it's gonna hold, okay? Remember, there's gonna be lots of trial and error. Then you're gonna take your Q-tip, insert it here. Okay, Professor, here's yours. I'm gonna do the same thing with yours. Let's see. Okay. okay, then you're gonna pull the Q-tip back and you're going to put the rubber band on the end of the Q-tip. It's gonna be a little hard, but again, trial and error. And then you're gonna pull it back right before you completely pull the Q-tip out of the straw. And you're gonna aim and fire. All right, whoa, that one went super far. So I'm gonna try again. Do you know, I was a bull hunter. Were you? Yes. So this is easy for me. All right. So, oh. So again, a lot of trial and error. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. If you want to make a target across the room, you can do that too. And uh, you can, if you have different possible sticks, you can try that as well. So I hope you have a good time with this, and we'll see you next time. See you later.